we're in a little place called Finnacunda and it's on the well the bottom edge or the southern edge of the last of the Peloponnese fingers going west and it's very pretty. So we're staying here tonight and then we're gonna head off to Pilos tomorrow. What's that day have you had? Yeah it's been nice morning been out for a walk. Went through the town um look at the chandlery bought a new um lure mm -hmm. lure uh, for fishing. like a spinner thing for catching them big tuna tomorrow. All right. So that means we might actually catch a fish one day. No, probably not. Didn't think but so. I need to do that, actually. So. Okay. Yeah, nice little place. Not a lot there, but very nice. Very pleasant. Not too roly. A um, little bit of wind, but nothing too much. And we're heading to Pilos. I don't know if you can see that very well. Up around this peninsula up here. So. So we're tacking our way out of the bay that we've been in for the last 24 hours and heading up to Pilos. But we're doing a steady four and a half knots. We've got somewhere between 17 and 23 knots of wind at the moment. And we're just tacking our way up, um, up towards Pilos, which wind's is... Yeah, the wind's coming around all the time. We're in, we're in between the island and the um, peninsula, so it's switching around all over the place. So we managed to get the sails out for the fourth time and we've actually got quite a lot of wind now, between 16 and 21 knots. Um, we're heading almost in the right direction. It seems to have calmed down a little bit. Could what we got? 16 knots of wind. Because we did have up to like 22 and I thought we were going to have to reach down even more but it seems to have calmed down a little bit. I think it's being uh, in the lee of the land a little bit now and the waves are changing direction. Okay. Oh, we still caught a fish. Well, we've decided not to go to Pilos just yet. Plan B. Plan B, we found this lovely, lovely bay, and I'll show you in a minute what we can see. Oh, can't see it this side. That looks pretty amazing, huge castle. So we thought we'd go and have a visit and see. So we've just arrived in the Anchorage and um, we weren't expecting this many boats to be in, but it's obviously a very, very popular place. Um, got every nationality here. There's a few mooring boys in the water. Um, not many people have taken them up, so I'm assuming they're just for the fishermen, but we're all in between them. But it's a large bay, a bit of swell coming in, but bearing in mind there's 15, 17 knots of wind out in the open. Um, it's very, very mild. So I've just come ashore on, um, on this little bay called Mesoni. 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 Mesoni, not Mesoni. Mesoni. Oh. Yeah, Mesoni. I keep thinking of mess, but that's a bad thing to think. There's not much here apparently. There's a few bars, restaurants and that. So we're just going to go and have a look, try and find a Euros. Um, staying here tonight, going to have a look at the castle in the morning. So where are we? We're in the um, fortress castle, whatever you want to call it. It's huge. Three euro to get in. Yeah. A person, which is yes, great. Okay. So we're inside the fortress walls and they are huge, 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 huge. There's a big drawbridge that we came up to, which we'll show you in the pictures. Wow. She said that because we've got what looks like a raised or what would have been a raised floor where water goes in. Mm -hmm. There's definitely a toilet in there because somebody's put toilet paper in there. Yeah. 
Okay. Yeah. Let's see if I can see. Oh yeah. You know, I've seen it on the some of the Roman things that where they. So we're in Forgotten Pillos. This is the harbour area. And we've just been down to ask the lady on the harbour. And how much did we reckon it might be for our boat? Well, she said it'd be less than ten pounds. So, uh, ten euro. Ten euro. So maybe ten euro to. For a twelve um, meter yacht, it was. Ten. No, it's twelve. So less than ten euro less to leave the boat euro. there overnight. But you can take it in during the day and get some fuel if you choose to, without actually, without actually paying for the harbour. The water is 12 euro for whatever amount you want, which is a heck of a lot, isn't it? And fuel, you have to organise yourself with the tanker. So the harbour is on the other side of that concrete wall that you can see. A couple of yachts over there. And apparently you can bring your dinghy in here if you need to. And the Chandler's is up on the hill there. And they've actually got quite a lot of stuff, so that was pretty useful. So we got our flares from there, which cost a total of, what were they, six euro each for the little handheld ones? Yeah, and the smoke one was 25. Yeah, and there was a bigger one at 30 euro, which was the, which yeah, one was that? a safety flare, apparently. It goes up 200 metres high. Yeah, so quite a big one. But yeah, you had everything. A couple of supermarkets on that side, which are pretty well stocked. That's good. Well the book actually says that it's one of the most intact castle fortresses in Greece, so that'll be interesting. Yeah. I think it's a big snake. Is it a snake or is it something else? No, it's a snake. This is the Church of the Transfiguration of the Saviour, apparently. It's very Turkish in design, which we'll show you in a minute. Why is it men have always got to go into dark holes? I'm guessing these are dive compressors. Maybe found on an old wreck or maybe used to dive on the wrecks. So, where are we going? Uh, we're just leaving Pilos and had a great time there, to be honest. We've uh, spent a few days and um, a little, little town, not a lot to it, but it's got everything in there that you need. So, we're now on our way to um, Kata Colon. Colon. So, we did check in and we did check out here. Um, all was fine, no problems whatsoever. This sail is about, it's about 50 miles, isn't it? Yeah. And we've chosen to set off mid afternoon. Which means we're probably going to arrive in the middle of the night. But that is because there's no wind this morning. 
and there's no wind tomorrow morning either. So all the wind is afternoon and tonight. And for in fact there isn't any wind for the next three or four days either, which would leave us stuck in Greece a bit longer than we really need to be. We're a bit rolly, we've got about 12 knots of wind. It's been between 12 and 15, but it seems to have slagged a little bit. So um, yeah, we're going a bit slowly. We've done about 20 miles, not too bad. Third of the way there. Where are we going? Decided plan B. And we're going to Zakynthos, so we, so we were going to Katakolon and we've decided that the wind's taken us in the right direction to go straight to the bottom of San Zante. So yeah, we'll see you there. So we're arriving in, in Kerry on the island of Zakynthos at half past five this morning after an excellent sail overnight. Um, we just motored for the last hour and a half to two hours just to get here as the wind died. Um, but we weren't expecting this today at all. We've got thunderstorms, rain. At least we did the boat wash. And the plates. So we arrived this morning, I think Kevin's already told you, about five o'clock, um, half past five, into the little bay at the bottom of Zakynthos called Kerry. And it's quite pleasant, very green. A couple of other yachts were in there when we anchored and the sun was just rising, so it was perfect timing. And now we're just taking a bit of time to come over and see one of the other towns over this side. Forgotten what it's called, can you remember? No, nope. nope. it begins with an Ciros. L. Ciros. Oh, I thought it began with an L, maybe I'm totally wrong. Um, but it's one of the sort of fairly well-known towns and we can hire a bike from there and go and see the sights which is what we thought we'd do. There's another yacht going in in front of us because apparently the water is quite shallow it's about 10-11 metres all the way across here so we're just following them and if they crash we'll know to go a different way. This is Porto Vrome, which is where you catch the little boats that take you round to Shipwreck Bay. Beautiful. Obviously you can't take your boat in there. A bit too crowded, I'd say. So we're going to head round to um, Shipwreck Bay itself now. Where are we? We're in Shipwreck Bay. <laughs> hey, they've left the lifeguard thing there. Well, it was in the middle of the boat before. Oh, was it? The water is spectacular colour, isn't it? Looks as if there are no people here whatsoever, but actually, there are people in the restaurants and things. And it's Oops, siesta no. time. They do have some fabulous buildings. Where are all the people? I know. It's people lifts. Now it is what time in the afternoon? Half past two, three? Half past three? three so no wonder it's siesta time. Well, 
we're on our way to Albania. Um, we left about 12 o'clock. It's about three hours motoring, five knots per hour. We made it to Albania. Yay! Another country. Ticked off the list. Very, very deep. Wow. I'm stood on a bridge, but I don't know if I trust it. It's made of concrete and it's all fallen apart. It is the most bizarre entrance to a castle that I've ever come across. You're having just... to walk through somebody's garden. OK, it's a moment of truth about the sale. We have got a small tier on the top. Just up here. Where are we going? We're going to castle. Which castle? This one. Oh, yeah. <laughs> uh, Porto Palermo. Hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, give us a thumbs up. And if you haven't already subscribed, well, why not do it now? Thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the next episode. Bye for now.